So, as of today, the Kinahan Transnational Criminal Organization joins the ranks of Italy's Komora, Mexico's Los Zetas, Japan's Yakuza, and Russia's Thieves in Law, stated a representative of Europol in April of 2022. Daniel Kinahan might be the biggest name in the cartel right now, rising to international fame. But the mastermind behind this criminal organization is Christopher Vincent Kinahan. He is one of the DEA's most wanted, and there is a $5 million prize on his head. Under the name of Celtic Tiger, began making a name for himself in the southern part of Dublin. At the start of his criminal career, he was nothing more than a young criminal who was breaking into houses, stealing cars, and handling stolen goods and forgery. His criminal file was becoming larger and larger, and many began remembering the name. In the south of Dublin, Christy Kinahan supplied drugs to the young people in the area. About 10 years later, at the beginning of the new millennium, the Drimna and Crumlin factions began their bloody gang war in the region. From the beginning of the 2000s until the 2010s, this crumlin drimna feud took the lives of 15 men in total. But while this was going on, in 2001, something unusual happened to Christy Kinahan. You see, just as the new year rolled around, the Celtic Tiger was released from prison. But instead of wasting time there, he decided to apply himself, and the man walked out in 2001 with two languages under his belt. Spanish, Dutch, and as luck would have it, as soon as he got out of prison, Christy Kinahan moved to Spain, the drug capital of Europe. This way, Christy could achieve two things. First, he would be able to control the supply of high-quality narcotics to the capital of Ireland, but also, he would be moving away from the Crumlin Drimna War. Speaking of Dublin, Christy Kinahan knew that he had to appoint someone to take care of his Crumlin operations. Sue Kinahan, named Freedy Thompson. This man suddenly gained control of the leadership of the entire gang. In 2019, the Irish Times found out that the gang had a direct supply of narcotics line from the south of Spain. Who was in the south of Spain? Why? Christy Kinahan, of course. During the 10-year war, while Christy was supplying the drugs and Freddie Thompson leading the operations in Dublin, Crumlin gang managed to almost completely wipe out the Drimnals from the map of South Dublin. While they were too busy fighting, Christy Kinahan was busy building important sales routes and opening new markets. By 2019, Christy Kinahan and his family have established themselves as the leading players in the wholesale and distribution of narcotics in Europe. The Kinahan cartel began attracting a lot of attention to itself in Dublin, so Freddie Thompson had to flee from Ireland to Spain. Now, Liam Byrne was left in charge of the Irish unit of the Kinahan cartel. This man was so successful, the authorities began referring to them as the Byrne Organized Crime Group in Ireland. Still, he remained loyal to the Kinahan by smashing that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, Byrne remained loyal to the Kinahan family by furthering their influence and domination of the underworld in the country. In the wake of the new decade, Operation Shovel, an organized law enforcement attempt throughout Europe, arrested 31 members in three different countries. Both Daniel and Christopher Kinahan Sr. were arrested during Operation Shovel. Despite this, they had to release both Christy and Daniel since their evidence wasn't sufficient to incriminate them. On top of that, the Kinahans even bribed some of the Spanish law enforcement officers, which allowed them to escape the iron hand of justice. Europol calculated that by 2010, the Kinahans and their criminal network had earned them a total of 1 billion euros. But as time went on, Christy Kinahan began involving his sons, Daniel and Christy Kinahan Jr. in the family business. Daniel was the one who founded Macklin's Gym and co-founded MGM Boxing. It took investigators 10 years to realize that Jim Marbella, which was founded in 2012, was part of a dirty money laundering scheme. French newspaper Le Monde published the article in 2022. Whatever Macklin's Gym and MGM Boxing were doing behind the scenes, we know one thing for sure. They were helping Daniel Kinahan clear up his name and become a popular name in the boxing industry. However, things soon spiraled out of control. Freddie Thompson, 
whom we mentioned had to flee to Spain, aligned himself with Gary Hutch. Thompson and Hutch became involved in Daniel's MGM boxing. Hutch becomes Kinahan's right-hand man. However, feuds around money arise between Hutch and Daniel Kinahan. Gary Hutch hires a hitman to liquidate Daniel, but something went wrong. The hired assassin was misinformed. Instead of attacking Daniel, he attacked Jamie Moore. Moore was an ex-boxer who was training with Matthew Macklin, the guy who co-founded Jim Marbella in Spain with Daniel Kinahan. On August 4th, 2014, Moore was taken to the hospital and he fully recovered. But Gary found himself in a horrible situation. He knew that the Kinahans would come after him. So he got in touch with his father, Gerard the Monk Hutch, knowing that the Kinahans would be out for blood. Jerry Hutch wanted to spare his son's life by offering the life of another Hutch family member in a punishment shooting. While this was happening, Gary's brother, Patrick Hutch, got shot in the leg to save his brother from certain death. Gary did his fair share of negotiations, offering $200,000 to be paid to the Kinahan family so that they could spare his life. All of those details fell through when Gary Hutch was found dead at 11.30 a.m. on September 24, 2015 in his Miraflores neighborhood in Marbella, Spain, where he had been living for the past eight years. Gary was chased by a gunman and shot 15 times in total. You would think that the Kinahans would be done with the shooting and killing, but near the end of 2015, they hire another hitman to take the life of Gerard the Monk Hutch. But the Monk wasn't an easy target. He foresaw what the Kinahans would try to do, so he escaped in time. These two assassination attempts on the heads of the Hutch family in Ireland, the Kinahan-Hutch rivalry began to brew. The Dublin underworld was turning. On February 5th, 2016, the Hutches planned their revenge attack. During the WBO weigh-in for the European lightweight boxing category at the Regency Hotel in Whitehall, Dublin, Gerard Hutch organized an attack. They knew Daniel Kinahan was going to be there, so they planned a revenge attack in which at least four attackers are known. Two attackers were wearing Garda Emergency Response Unit uniforms and were armed with AK-47s in their hands. The remaining two were the man with the flat cap and the man dressed in women's clothing. These two were armed with nothing but handguns. They burst through the front door of the Regency Hotel in the middle of the day and they began looking for Daniel Kinahan. However, Daniel had previously been tipped off and he left the building early. The attackers only managed to kill David Byrne a close friend and associate of the Kinahan cartel. Another two men were injured before the four people team escaped in a Ford Transit vehicle. The waters have been bloodied and the Hutch-Kinahan rivalry began. With more power and influence, the Kinahans managed to eliminate almost all of the members of the Hutch family. Immediately after the assassination of David Byrne, the Kinahans took the life of Gerard's brother, an average taxi driver. Christy Kinahan Sr. was no longer involved in this feud. This was a battle between Freddie Thompson, Liam Byrne, and Danny on the one hand, and Gerard the Monk Hutch on the other. The Kinahans might have been more powerful, but the Monk had more experience than the three of them. As you can see, Daniel was finally taking over the cartel and assuming the mantle from his father. The feud and rivalry turned into a wipeout. From 2016 until 2019, 18 people died in a fierce rivalry. However, a disproportionate number of Hutch members have lost their lives. Of all the murders that followed, 10 of which happened in one year, Daniel Kinahan is suspected to have ordered smashing that subscribe button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, seriously now, Daniel Kinahan is suspected to have ordered 14 of them. Innocent or not, Daniel wanted to eradicate anyone related to the monk. Besides organizing assassins, Daniel also moved the seat of the Kinahan cartel from Spain to Dubai in the UAE. The problem for Ireland? They had no extradition agreement with the UAE, meaning Daniel could not be taken by Irish authorities. Bye for now.